Well, uh, since everyone quieted down, I guess I'll begin. I'm Mr. Piazza, high school principal. Thank you for coming tonight to the seventh annual Senior Recognition and Scholarship Night. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce our senior officers who are assisting with the ceremony tonight. Cyrus Yarpez Eshkin. Hope that was good, Cyrus, thank you. <laughs> Stephanie Correa. <laughs> Michaela Pekarski. <laughs> and Benjamin Carter. <laughs> and first, I'd like to bring Sil uh, Cyrus to the stage to lead us through our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To begin tonight, we have a, a special presentation from one of our seniors, Joshua, Joshua Wozniak. Joshua, come to the stage, please. Joshua wrote and will perform an alma mater for Cornwall Central High School. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Joshua. So, hello, welcome again to the seventh annual Senior Awards and Recognition Night at Cornwall Central High School. This is one of the best nights of the year. Tonight, we are able to celebrate the hard work of some superb students and share that experience with their family, faculty, and community members that have helped them reach this moment. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the achievements of our soon-to-be graduates. I would like to first recognize our Board of Education Vice President, Mr. Louis Argenio, Board Trustees, Mr. John Edelin, Mr. Larry Berger, and Mr. Jim Cregan for being here this evening, as well as our Superintendent, Mr. Terry Dade, and Assistant Su Superintendent, Ms. Megan Argenio. We are very happy to have the assistance of many of our faculty and administration for tonight's ceremony. Our high school assistant principals, Ms. Wilhelm and Mr. Ray, Director of Athletics, Ms. Simmons, Music Department Chair, Mr. Ravinsky, Director of Guidance, Mr. DeBold, our high school department chairs, and numerous faculty, faculty members for being here tonight. Special thanks to Ms. Pat Guarneri and Ms. Cheryl Ann Saldana for their hard work in planning and organizing tonight's event. and to the generous organizations and individuals who are here tonight and sponsor these awards for our very deserving students. We thank you for your continued support, the dedication that you have to recognize the outstanding efforts of these students is what makes Cornwall such a special community. To the parents and family members and friends in the audience tonight, we know that none of these accomplishments would have been possible without your guidance and the foundation that you built for your child to, su to succeed. Thank you for all your work all the work that you have done to make this momentous occasion a po possible. <clears throat> to our students receiving awards tonight, congratulations on your achievements. 
but most importantly, the effort that you put in to earn the acknowledgement today. Your hard work has paid off. We hope that you savor the recognition that you've earned due to your incredible character, talent, work ethic, and contributions to our community. You deserve it. I hope that as you move forward in your life, you always take pride in your accomplishments that led you to being here tonight. But more importantly, as you grow older, please continue to give back to your own community and pay forward the generosity that has allowed us to celebrate you this evening. I hope that you all enjoy a wonderful evening. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, tonight's first award is the United States Naval Academy appointment, presented by Officer Raul Acosta. Good evening. My name is Raul Acosta, and I am a blue and gold officer from Rockland County. Uh, in this capacity, I represent the Naval Academy in my local community on a volunteer basis. It is my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity today to recognize signif the significant honor of Tyler Morassi has earned by receiving an appointment to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. <laughs> this year, Tyler was one of about 16,000 students from throughout the nation who applied for one of approximately 1,200 seats for the Naval Academy's class of 2026. The admissions process is unique and requires each student to apply for and receive a nomination, most commonly from their congressman or senator, uh, complete a thorough, thorough medical examination, and successfully pass a physical fitness evaluation. In addition to the usual submission of transcripts, recommendations, and essays. Screening is very thorough with a focus on a well-rounded individuals who have demonstrated leadership potential and the willingness to accept responsibility and have an outstanding academic credentials. An appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy is equivalent to receiving a full four-year scholarship, including tuition, room and board, medical and dental benefits, and if that wasn't enough, a monthly midshipman stipend. After completing the four-year academic and military curriculum at the Naval Academy, students receive a Bachelor of Science degree in one of 26 majors, and, mo and most importantly, earn a commission as an officer in the United States Navy or Marine Corps. Rightfully so, his family and Cornwall, Cornwall Central High School should be very proud of Tyler's exceptional achievements. And on behalf of Vice Admiral Sean S. Buck, Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, it is my great pleasure to present Tyler Morassi with this certificate of appointment to the Naval Academy's Class of 2026. Go Navy. Next, we have the United States Merchant Marine Academy appointment, presented by Dr. Jesse Germain. Good evening. The United States Merchant Marine Academy, located at Kingsport, New York, is one of five federal service academies. The academy's mission is to educate and graduate leaders of exemplary character who are inspired to serve the national security as merchant marine officers and commissioned officers in the armed forces. Nominated by Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, John Germain is one of 280 appointees selected to the academy from around the nation and the world out of 2,000 applicants. Completion of the intensive four-year regimental and academic curriculum, which includes three trimesters at sea, on a U.S. flag merchant vessel and U.S. Navy ship, 
as well as an internship leads to a Bachelor of Science degree, a U.S. Merchant Marine Officer's license, and commission in the United States Armed Forces. An appointment to the Academy is the equivalent of a scholarship worth approximately $290,000 over the four-year period. This remarkable achievement reflects great credit on John Germain and demonstrates that he is ready and living up to the Academy's motto, acta non verba, deeds not words. I take great pleasure on behalf of Vice Admiral Jack Buono, the Academy Superintendent, to recognize the appointment of John Germain to the United States Merchant Marine Academy, Class of 2026. Congratulations and well done. and the ROTC scholarships presented by Matthew Ellett. Much like the service academies that were appointments that were just announced, ROTC uh, candidates and cadets are, have the same goals, to serve the nation and to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And uh, they go through the same trials, they look at, at ROTC looks at academics, physical, uh, physical capabilities, sports, participation, leadership, and looking all around for future leaders. And so when candidates apply for ROTC scholarships, they receive, much like the appointments to the service academies, they receive three and four year scholarships that cover all costs and afford them the opportunity then to participate as cadets in the ROTC, progr ROTC, ROTC program, excuse me, and, uh, and then go on to commission as officers in the United States Army and to continue to serve their nation and their communities. And for me, it is a distinct pleasure to provide, to, excuse me, I'm a little nervous because it's my daughter. So, uh, <laughs> and this is, uh, It's, you know, it's, it, it really is, for me, I, I myself commissioned through the ROTC program and went through the ROTC program and I got to see what it made for me, what it did for my life, and what my life has been uh, going through the service and serving, um, serving my nation and serving my community. And, um, and I'm grateful that she's made the choice to follow my footsteps in doing that. And so I'd like, uh, it is with the greatest pleasure that I, um, like to present this scholarship to Alexis Ellett. The next award is the ROTC Scholarships, the West Point Spouses Club, uh, presented by Joseph Hannes. I think you know enough of the background of the ROTC Scholarship now, um, but I'll also be presenting uh, the scholarship to my son, uh, William, who will be a fourth generation member of my family serving his country, and I couldn't be prouder of him, and having moved here to Cornwall, we couldn't be happier and all the warm welcome, and we are part of a family here, and it's just been a wonderful year for us, and um, I'm really, my wife and I and our family are really happy for Liam to join another family, which is our military, which uh, is as important as it can be now and will be for the future, and so it's great pleasure. Liam, why don't you come on up? I got something really special for you. <laughs> Liam will be attending Syracuse University uh, this fall and looking to serve his nation. Thank you, Liam. Uh, 
All right, so that last one was actually an ROTC scholarship. Uh, this one is the West Point Spouses Club scholarship uh, presented by Heather Baker. Good evening, my name is Heather Baker. I'm the 2021-2022 West Point Spouses Club Scholarship Chairperson. I'm so honored to be here with you this evening. Um, the West Point Spouses Club is a private, nonprofit organization that supports the West Point community, as well as the military community as a, as a whole. With profits from our annual casino night and from our gift shop located at West Point, we um, give out op scholarships for our members and for their graduating high school seniors that will be continuing their education at college. We look at an applicant's academic achievements, extracurricular activities, community service, essay response, and letters of reference. This year, we're awarding scholarships to nine graduating high school seniors, totaling $13,000. Tonight, I'm here to award one of you Cornwall Central um, High School seniors with his scholarship. This young man has had an impressive tenure at Cornwall Central. He participated in several sports during the last four years, including baseball, ski team, and track. He was active in drama club and NHS, not just as a member, but also holding leaders leadership positions as well. Outside of school, he volunteers at the local food bank monthly plays in a band with his friends, and enjoys STEM activities. All of this while maintaining a high GPA. Our committee was very impressed with his essay response to our question, if you could bring back one person from the past, who would it be and where would you take them? He responded with a very witty and creative response with bringing back Sir Isaac Newton to Cedar Point Amusement Park. He also shared with us a little bit about his love for science um, as well. Our committee was truly impressed and it was one of our favorite essays. His references spoke highly of his musical talent, versatility as a musician, team player attitude, and leadership and organizational skills. All of his hard work over the past four years is something to be proud of, and I'm so honored to award this young man with a scholarship for $1,500 to study civil engineering at Michigan State University. Please join me in congratulating Mr. William Crow. That's a bummer. Does anybody else want it? No. <laughs> the next scholarship is the Cornwall Youth Football Scholarship uh, presented by Dave Conright. Dave couldn't be here tonight, so I'm Jackie Keegan on the board of Cornwall Youth Football. Um, <laughs> The three recipients for the Cornwall Youth Football Scholarship have shown tremendous leadership both on and off the field. They've given countless hours to the youth program, whether it was setting up fields, concession stand duty, fitting uniforms and helmets in the August heat, refereeing flag games, and dealing with angry coaches and parents, and encouraging the younger players. Um, due to their efforts, Cornwall football will continue to be a strong program in the years to come. I will personally miss them very much next year. It is my pleasure to award the Cornwall Youth Football Scholarships to Alex Lane, Jaden Lont, and Orlando Carthens. I'm also going to do the Cornwall Youth cheerleading. <laughs> um, cheerleading is a tough sport that requires a lot of cooperation and teamwork. And after putting in time practicing for varsity, these two award winners came and volunteered to coach in the youth programs. They worked hard to develop choreography that could be learned by younger children and spent many extra hours going over that. As many parents can tell you, getting eight to 12 girls ages 12 to 14 to stay focused, pay attention, and not have drama is nearly impossible. <laughs> These girls handled that with patience and understanding. They have shown that the future of the cheer program, they've shown the future of the cheer program how to work hard, be fair, 
and to show Dragon pride. That is why Cornwall Youth Football and Cheer is proud to give scholarships to Samantha Wentland and Victoria Laffin. Are they here tonight? Where are they? There. The Dan Cregan Scholarship for Service um, is going to be presented by also Mrs. Keegan. Or no? Oh, I'm sorry. It says Dame Conrad again. <laughs> Mr. <Cr> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I'm honored to, to be here tonight. Uh, I'm wearing two hats. One I'm here uh, as a member of the Board of Education. Congratulations to all the winners. Um, really great to be here and, and this is a great evening for you all and uh, really showing the community support for you uh, as you launch out into the world and prepare to be our future leaders. Um, on behalf of Youth Football, uh, they were nice enough to name a scholarship after my father, uh, the Service Scholarship. Uh, recognizing his over two decades of service as both the treasurer of youth football and running the snack shed and doing everything else. I believe running the snack shed in his 20 years included 10 final years and five absolutely last and final years. Um, tonight's winner, um, I simply put uh, in talking to a couple members of, of the youth football board said he was the most dedicated uh, student volunteer in the history of the program. Uh, Tommy Keene uh, played all eight years of youth football from Mighty Mites through Division III. Um, he coached youth and flag football. Um, I don't have more details here, but as someone who volunteered for youth football when, he, when I was in his shoes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say that he set up the field, cleaned up the field, picked up trash, did everything and anything under the sun. Um, so with that, I'll just keep it ni nice and short and invite Tommy up here and say uh, congratulations. Next, we have the Board of Education Scholarship presented by Louis Arginio. Good evening, all. Um, the Cornwall Central School District is happy to announce its newest scholarship, the Board of Education Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by the direct donations from the Board of Education members. The formation of this scholarship dawned from a committee that included student body members. This, this, this partnership helped ensure that this scholarship was accessible to all CCSD students. Proud to, proud to note, the first recipient of this scholarship is Anika Fadness. The Hudson River Lodge number 309 F and AM scholarship is going to be presented by Deacon Nolan and, Padi and Padilla. Yeah. Right, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's great to see everyone here uh, tonight in person and not through some computer. Um, I'd, like to I'd like to thank the uh, Cornwall School District for allowing us to uh, participate and present our first Cornwall recipient this year um, of the uh, Hudson River uh, Free and Accepted uh, Basin Scholarship. Um, so before I present our recipient um, with the award, please allow me to explain Freemasonry because a lot of you, you're young and you kind of don't know what Freemasonry is or what, what we stand for. Um, so Freemasonry is one of the oldest and largest fraternity in, in history. Um, it goes back 
and dates back into the 1700s, just uh, while our 13 colonies were being uh, formed. Uh, many of our nation's early patriots were, um, uh, were Freemasons, uh, including 13 signers of our Constitution and 14 presidents of the United States are, are Masons. Um, some of them are George Washington, Harry Truman, uh, Franklin Roosevelt, and uh, Teddy Roosevelt, among uh, a couple of others. Um, so our lodge has been in existence since 1862. It makes us 160 years in existence. Um, and mind you, we started, Freemasonry started in the 1700s. Um, one of our, one of our beliefs uh, is that we're all about faith, hope, and charity, guided by three main tenets, which is brotherly love, uh, relief, and truth. And our recipient this year, we believe, has shown she can fulfill her future by following these tenets. So I would like to congratulate our recipient, Miss Gianna Colburn, of this award. Presenting the Leah's Life Legacy Scholarship um, Award is Scott Berardinelli. Good evening, and on behalf of Scott, I will be presenting this award. Uh, the Leah's Life Legacy Scholarship will be granted to a graduating senior from Cornwall Central High School who exemplifies characteristics that honor the memory of Leah Berardinelli. Leadership, overcoming challenges, advocacy for others, and involvement in school and community. Leah is greatly missed, and on behalf of this scholarship, we would like to honor Emma Blacksmith. Presenting the Newberg Kiwanis Continuing Education Award is Robin Bellow. Good evening, my name is Robin Bellow. I'm the president of the Kiwanis Club of Newburgh. We are a worldwide service, community, uh, service organization. Our goal is to help the children of the community. And we do this with our adult members and we also have help with the key club from the high school members. Um, we are very proud this year to present four awards. We have Dahlia Jones. <laughs> ha Haley Bishop. <laughs> Maitri Bijour. <laughs> Dah Dahlia, thank you, congratulations and Ryan Chatfield. Mm -hmm. Haley, thank you. Ichi, thank you. <laughs> and I would like to thank their advisor, Regina Hines, who has helped us tremendously. With all your help, we are able to continue these scholarships and we hope that if you do pursue um, Kiwanis in your college, it's under the Circle K program. So best wishes to all. Thank you. Presenting the Key Club Outstanding Member Award is Regina Hines. Hi, Mrs. Hines couldn't be here, so I'm going to present the award for Key Club and the outstanding member goes to my tree by Jor. Yeah. <laughs> Presenting the Cornwall Democratic Committee Scholarship is John Chase.
Good evening. The, uh, I'm, I'm John Chase, and uh, I'm here to represent uh, the oldest political party on the planet. We're kind of the new guys in town on Cornwall. Um, I've been chair of the committee for the last eight years. For the last five of them, we've been delighted to participate in this wonderful community event. Uh, it's important to recognize excellence of our seniors, and it's equally important to recognize and thank their families and friends, parents who've guided them through all this. So please give yourselves a hand. Our scholarship uh, is awarded annually to a student based on academic background, civic engagement, educational, cultural, scientific, and artistic interests, career objectives, and the applicant's reflections on issues uh, facing our town, state, and country. This year, I'm glad to report that we had multiple excellent submissions, and we thank and congratulate each of the applicants our award this year goes to Ariel Yarmus. Presenting the Cornwall Little League Scholarship in memory of Curtis Remfrey Sr. is Howard Lane. Good evening. My name is Tom Molfeld, and I'm the treasurer of the Cornwall Little League. Um, first and foremost, I'd just like to say congratulations to all the seniors, including my own daughter, Natalia, uh, and best of luck in the future. I'm here tonight on behalf of the Little League Board of Directors to present two scholarships, the Eleanor Ransom Scholarship and the Curtis A. Remfrey Senior Scholarship. Both scholarships were created by the Little League in memory of Mrs. Ransom and Mr. Ramf Remfrey who dedicated countless hours to shape the successful program that we have today. A $500 scholarship will be awarded to a graduating Cornwall High School senior who best exemplifies the values and qualities of a person to whom this award is dedicated. So the first scholarship recipient of the Eleanor Ransom Scholarship is Stephanie Fanning. And the Curtis A. Remfrey Senior Scholarship goes to Gregory Shaw. <laughs> Presenting the Cornwall Lions Club Scholarship is Greg Phillips. Good evening. I'm Greg Phillips, a retired Cornwall music teacher and a member of the scholarship committee for the Cornwall Lions Club, which is celebrating its 90th anniversary this year. Rather than read the rest of this marvelous speech, I think I'll cut right to the chase. The Lions Club is pleased to award a four-year scholarship in the amount of $1,000 per year to Michaela Pekarski, who will be majoring in sports management and education at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Congratulations, Michaela. Oh, thank you. Presenting the American Legion Memorial Scholarship, Cornwall Post number 353, D. Hart Fanning and Kopeck Award is Rafael Ortiz. Good evening, my name is Rafael Ortiz, and as your, uh, your American Legion Post 353 representative, 
I'm very honored and thank you for allowing us this opportunity to celebrate this very special moment. As the American Legion strives to foster and perpetuate 100% Americanism, for this reason, every year, we start our family and community summer ce celebrations by first honoring the memories of our fallen combat heroes by hosting the Cornwall Memorial Day Parade. Memorial Day is a day of reflection, a day to gather as family, as neighbors, to give thanks by reflecting on our fallen ultimate sacrifice. Please know that this evening we are honoring these sacrifices and these memories too by your accomplishments and your achievements. As a student, every night that you worked hard on that special project, every night that you were preparing for that exam, getting ready, you are honoring the sacrifices before us. Every teacher, every parent, every grandparent, every uncle, aunt, sister, cousin, neighbor, friend, you too have honored the sacrifices before us by supporting and helping our students and graduates here tonight. Every Cornwall High School graduate has honored the sacrifices before us. You all have demonstrated 100% Americanism and the principles and values that we cherish. Hard work, sacrifice, but most importantly, giving back to your community and to those that are less fortunate. So with this said, it gives me great pleasure to present tonight's award to someone who stands out for her accomplishments, for embodying, embodying by her actions 100% Americanism. It is truly an honor to call Ms. Gianna Coburn Congratulations and continued success. Thank you. And congratulations to all our graduates. Presenting the Cornell Republican Scholarship is Mary Beth Greencraft. Miss Greencraft could not be with us tonight. I'm here. Oh, you are Actually, here. <laughs> You didn't check in. I, I did not check in. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a note, right, like you do with the office. I have to do a, like a late slip or something. <laughs> so there I was actually go. working, and I'm going to tell you where I work. This is going to be even better. I work at the Board of Elections, and there is voting going on right now. Every party, every race, come on out and vote, register. That's what it's all about. That's what being a part of your community is. So it doesn't matter to me who you vote for, as long as you get out and you vote. That's the most important thing to do. So, And we actually have voting right in Cornwall at COVAX, so just a little add-on. So there you go. Uh, so good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Cornwall Republican Committee, I would like to congratulate the entire class of 2022. So congratulations, everybody. This award this evening is presented to someone who has performed outstanding community service and has participated in school activities. So it's my privilege this evening to award this presentation to Cassandra Ackerman. Presenting the Cornwall United Soccer Club Patrick Harding Memorial Scholarship is Denise Harding. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to all the graduates. 
For the past 15 years, the Cornwall United Soccer Club has awarded scholarships to those graduates who demonstrate how soccer has contributed to their growth as a person. This year, I'm honored to present the, these scholarships in memory of my husband, Patrick Harding, and recognize the following students. Giorgio Aversa. <laughs> Connor Zatlukal. Did I get that right? And Peyton Fern. The CCHS PTSO Scholarship will be presented by Brian Piazza. Thank you, Ben. I'm very happy to present the CCHS PTSO Scholarship, which is awarded to a graduating senior who is a member of the PTSO, to the following students. Cassandra Ackerman. And Stephanie Fanning. Cornwall Youth Basketball League Pat Harding Memorial Award is be, will be presented by Denise Harding. I'm back. They should have organized their list differently, right? <laughs> I'm doing Don Davit too. So the following awards are given to those graduates who demonstrate how the Cornwall Girls Basketball League has influenced them as well as the community as a whole. I'm honored to present these scholarships in memory of two very dedicated coaches, Don Davitt and Patrick Harding, and recognize the following students. Stephanie Fanning. And Ryan Chatfield. Cornwall Youth Basketball League Don Davitt Memorial Award will be presented by Adrian Davitt. <laughs> the Nancy Rooney Swim and Diving Award will be presented by Mr. Mark Gray. Thank you, Steph. Good evening. Tonight I have the honor of presenting the Nancy Rooney Swimming and Diving Award. This is an award that recognizes a senior or seniors whose dedication and passion for the sport of swimming reflects the values once taught by Coach Rooney. It is sometimes referred to as the most valuable swimmer award. Mrs. Nancy Rooney was the first head coach of both the Cornwall girls and boys varsity swim and dive team. She guided the teams from 1986 to 2008 and worked diligently to ensure that the construction of the new high school included a pool. Her passion had introduced many generations to the sport of swimming over her 30 years of coaching high school and age group swim teams. This award is not a ranking of which swimmer is fastest or how a particular swimmer is going to do. It is just how valuable or important that individual is to their respective team as determined by coaches both past and present. This year, it is my pleasure to present the awards to Michaela Pekarski, and Vincent Matone. The 
The National Merit Scholarship Commended Students Awards will be presented by Mr. Brian Piazza. Thank you. Tonight we have five seniors who earned National Merit Scholarship uh, commendations from the College Board. These five students were selected um, out of 1.5 million students who take the PSAT and MSQT annually. These outstanding students were among the 50,000th highest scorers, scorers nationwide. Through their achievement, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation recognizes these students for their outstanding academic promise. The five commended students representing Cornwall are Giorgio Aversa, <laughs> Leah Hannes, Grace Maxim, Anika Fadness, and Andy Wang. Congrats again. I'm going to stay up here. We also had a student who was a National Merit Scholarship finalist this year. Emma Tolman was one of only 16,000 students recognized with this honor nationwide. Congrats, Emma. Last but not least, this year we have a National Merit Scholarship winner, Mr. Benjamin Harrell. <laughs> Benjamin is being offered a National Merit Scholarship, uh, being offered a scholarship through the, the partnership between the National Merit Scholarship Corporation and the State University of New York at Stony Brook. Congratulations. The National Honor Society Outstanding Service Awards will be presented by Ms. Laura Uni. Good evening. I'm Laura Uni, and I'm the advisor of the National Honor Society. To be a member of the National Honor Society, you need to meet a certain grade point average, but you must also meet the criteria of having a good character, completing community service projects, and strong leadership qualities. The recipients of our award have displayed these qualities far beyond our expectations. They participated in various community service projects that included a fall and spring blood drive, River Fest, Grandparent Tea, Cornwall Elementary School Father-Daughter Dance, PTSO Coin Drop, Middle School Halloween Happenings, and Willow Ave's Carnival and Talent Show, to name a few. During this past school year, the National Honor Society hosted many fundraising projects. They included a spring and fall cookie sale fundraiser, a Sadie Hawkins dance, popcorn Fridays, and a volleyball tournament. When asked for a volunteer to head these committees, these recipients never hesitated to volunteer. They helped raise over $9,000 for our club this past year. I will truly miss these three members next year. Two of our recipients will receive their award from the Cornwall National Honor Society, and one award is sponsored by the New York Blood Center. On behalf of myself and our assistant advisor, Angela Mann, I am honored to present these scholarships to the future leaders of tomorrow, Taylor Thompson, Abigail Shashenko, and Anika Fadness. I'm just going to stay up here and keep going. 
I am also honored in presenting this year's high school paraprofessional scholarship to a student that we have seen develop into a fine young man. Every year, the high school paraprofessionals give an award to a graduating senior that they have supported through their high school years. The paraprofessionals work along with the classroom teacher with either a group of students or as a one-on-one -on -one support. This, year award, this year's award goes to a student that upon entering high school as a freshman was shy and quiet. We have watched him grow over the years into a mature, well-mannered, dedicated student. Through his four years as a student here, he has continuously worked hard and proven himself to receive this award. We wish him well on his future journey. On behalf of the paraprofessionals, it is my pleasure to give this scholarship award to Eric Samachia. One more. <laughs> Katie Beloga, my co-advisor, was going to um, give this award out, but she couldn't make it, unfortunately. So um, I am representing the Environmental Club. Our club's goal is to raise awareness about environmental issues through community outreach, environmentally themed fundraisers, and care for the high school outdoor garden. Our mission this past year was to get our garden back to a beautiful vegetable producing environment, start our bottle recycling program up again, and participate in community projects. I am happy to say that they have accomplished that and added other projects along the way. We started the year by tackling the overgrown garden. We weeded and weeded and weeded some more. We laid down 50 bags of mulch and finally got to plant vegetables this spring. The members hung fences, put up gates, and spread 15 yards of gravel. Once the weather started turning in the fall, the members were eager to start up our bottling recycling program again, in which we had participation school-wide. They also held a holiday ornament fundraiser. The two recipients of the environmental award were always eager to help and never missed one meeting during the year. These two recipients are probably the quietest, but most hardworking members. I am pleased to give this scholarship award to Blake Ross and Maitri Bijour. Congratulations. The CCHS SGO Award will be presented by Ms. Megan Chyla and Mr. Jack, Jack Ponsel. Thank you. So we just want to first say congratulations to all the seniors and we had an outstanding year because of our four class officers up here. Um, SGO is also made up of underclassmen and cabinet members. So we just want to thank everybody for their participation this year. And the award for SGO for someone who had outstanding service for us this year is? Stephanie Carrera. Yeah, Stephanie. I'm gonna do my other little plug. Seniors, 9.30 Friday rehearsal for graduation, don't forget. And, and don't be late. The Yearbook Awards will be presented by Ms. Dawn Creedon. Good evening. Congratulations to all you seniors. I'm Dawn Creedon. I'm the Yearbook Advisor here at the high school. On behalf of Ms. Byrne and myself, I'd like to thank our seniors for all their dedication and hard work in putting together a spectacular yearbook. This was another challenging year to put together a yearbook. Not only did the students have to learn how to build the yearbook, but they had to work hard around COVID restrictions for most of the year, not to mention the computer programs that they had to learn in order to make the yearbook work. Putting the yearbook together requires tremendous dedication and time. The students in the yearbook club were all wonderful, but a few of our seniors put in some extra effort and we really needed it. 
Because of their efforts, the Yearbook Club has once again produced a beautiful memory for our students. We wish these students all the best in their future endeavors. Uh, it is my honor to present these awards to Faina Jean Batiste, Emily Davis, Jordan Penna, Marissa Pepe, Maya Rivera, Melissa Sanchez, and Taylor Thompson. The OU BOCES Senior Scholar Humanities Honoree Award is presented by Tony Vervinsky. Good evening. The Orange Ulster BOCES Senior Scholar of Humanities Award recognizes students for outstanding accomplishments in the fine arts, theater, music, fashion, and jewelry design. This year's recipients from CCHS are Jonathan Archangel and Angelina Hansen. I'm going to stay up here and keep things rolling. Uh, the Drama Club Award uh, is presented to students who are, go above and beyond anything that any uh, Mr. Hines or I could ever expect. Um, throughout their four years, they are always there uh, performing on stage, helping out backstage, doing things that um, you might not necessarily think would be part of the Drama Club um, as our times change. Um, this person has worked extremely hard on and off stage. Uh, they helped extremely hard in the fall show, getting us through uh, a lot of dialogue. Um, and I'm going to say, George Bailey, congratulations. Thank you so much for all of your editing and all of your videos. George, I think, has been doing promotional videos for us for the last few years, and that technology is way over my head. So thank you very much, sir. And for Mrs. Fiato, the Art Award. The Art Award is sponsored by the Art Club and is given to students who has uh, had a profound impact on the art program in terms of performance and service. The recipient of this award has shown creativity, hard work, and kindness throughout the year. The monetary prize serves to assist the student with future academic endeavors. This year's recipient is Andrew Guerreau. The Jeannie Theus Memorial Scholarship is presented by Matthew Cook. Good evening. The scholarship is given in honor of Jeannie Tice, a student, a teacher, and a principal in the Cornwall Central School District. She was a good friend, hardworking, kind to everyone she met, and always did her best. An award is given to a senior female student who also possesses these qualities. This, year, this year's award goes to Eleanor Babbitt.
The Glenn McGinnis Memorial Golf Award is presented by Steve Serbino. Good evening. Congratulations to all the seniors here tonight. Uh, my name is Steve Serbino. I'm the varsity boys head coach uh, for golf here at the Cornell High School. Uh, tonight I'm here to present the award in honor of Glenn McGinnis, a legendary coach and educator uh, for many years here at Cornwall High School. Uh, I am honored to present this award to an athlete on the golf team that represents every attribute Coach McGinnis expected of his athletes. I am proud to present this award to Connor Mellon for his commitment to the varsity golf team, his integrity, and overall motivation to make himself and his teammates better. This was my first year as a coach of the varsity coach, uh, golf team, and Connor has been a great resource for me to make sure, one, I didn't look like an idiot, and more importantly, uh, to continue a great legacy left by uh, legendary Coach Hal. On behalf of the McGinnis family, it is a, my pleasure to present this award to Connor Mellon. <clears throat> The OCI AA Times Herald Record Scholar Athletes are presented by Jennifer Simmons. Sorry, I have a pile here. Good evening. It's an honor and a privilege to be here, and I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to know all of the uh, student athletes and the students here at Cornwall High School. So the Orange County Interscholastic Athletic Association each year gives a scholar athlete award to a male and a female scholar athlete. And it's given to somebody who is in the top 20% of their class, who's participated in at least one varsity sport, is an above average athlete, and demonstrated outstanding citizenship. Both of these student athletes were celebrated at a breakfast earlier this year but we want to recognize them here again this evening, and it goes to Victor Perez and to Mia Dinocenzio. Just keep on going. Orange County Parochial School League Scholarship Award is awarded to a senior who has participated in basketball or cheerleading in a parochial school. And this scholarship goes to Emily Davis. So next, I'm going to actually need help. <laughs> we have Cornwall Coaches Awards. We have student athletes who the coaches have recognized. They are the important people on the program. They are the go-to members. They're the heart and soul of the team, and they make the team better for being a part of it. And the first one goes to Mark Sean Montero. Patron. Jake Ward. Greg Shaw. Cyrus. Thank you. Ryan Sawyer.
Giles Addison. Nick Valsano. John Germain. Tyler Rodriguez. Samantha Wetland. Tanaya Montgomery. Miley Sanchez. <laughs> Gabby Shapiro. Adriana Ciccatelli. Ryan Chatfield. <laughs> Victoria Latham. Thompson. That's it, right? The next award is the Bruce Armitage Award. This is awarded to a senior boy and girl who have displayed outstanding dedication and athletic skills, contributed greatly to the success of the teams, and exhibited characteristics that one would consider model for any athletic program. And the Bruce Armitage Award goes to Jaden Lott and Jenna Prime.
Orange County Youth Football and Cheerleading Scholarship. It's awarded to a senior in the Orange County School District who has participated in the Orange County Youth Football and Cheerleading Program for multiple years. And it goes to Greg Shaw. My final award tonight is considered the highest athletic award here at Cornwall Central School District. It's the Butch Kent Award. And the Butch Kent Award, there's a plaque outside of the gymnasium where your name will be forever left. And it is um, the athletic award presented to the senior athlete that best exemplified sportsmanship, leadership, and cooperation through his or her athletic career and the recipient of this very lovely award and name engraved goes to Mia Dina Senzio. The next award is the Triple C Award, presented by April McDowell. Good evening. I am here to present the Attorney General's Triple C Award, which recognizes the courage, character, and commitment of New York State's outstanding students. The student selected this year holds all of the tra that traits that the Triple C Award stands for. I met this student a little over two and a half years ago as a transfer student from another country. Navigating a new school and country with English as a second language was a challenge in itself. The nerves were there for sure, and the world was turned upside down. Then, just a few months after her arrival, the COVID-19 pandemic struck and life was turned upside down again. Returning to the school that fall, she put on a brave face every day in this new uncertain world. Courage is what it took for her to stay focused. I really feel like this woman, a young woman, is like sunshine to the soul. Sometimes sunshine has to fight its way through the clouds to shine. Even through tough times, she always tries to see her way through positivity and interpersonal connections. She takes time to reach out and ask for help when things get tough, but also to share the good times as well. Her resiliency is something I am in awe of, and this model of character is something for us, each of us to learn from. Having left a country where education was not guaranteed, education is a gift. She worked every day to master these new concepts taught in a complicated American education system. Teachers constantly raved about how dedicated she was to her studies. Her commitment to education remained constant, and she is very excited to continue her education next year in college. I could go on and on, as she probably knows, but at this time, I'll just say I'm thrilled to present the Triple C Award to Faina Jean-Baptiste. The Kathy and Tony Ferraro Riverfest Scholarship will be presented by Katherine Wilhelm. The Kathy and Tony Ferraro Riverfest Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who has demonstrated a commitment to community service. This year's recipient is Benjamin Harrell.
Next is the Cornwall Central Teachers Association Scholarship, the Barbara R. Kreveling Memorial Grant. Barbara R. Kreveling was a third grade teacher at Cornwall and Hudson for about 20 years. One of Barbara's abilities was encouraging her students to know themselves better and to pursue their creative interests. Constant personal encouragement was the means by which Barbara was able to promote and foster each student's self-awareness and growth. This year's scholarship recipient is Sinji Shen. Cornwall Administrators Association Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior whose parent or guardian is an active or retired educator. This year's scholarship recipient is Benjamin Carter. The Edward C. Moulton Junior Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating student who has by their conduct exemplified community service. This year's scholarship recipient is Ariel Yarmus. The Frank N. Tishan Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has shown academic achievement participation in and contribution to a wide variety of activities, both school and or community related. The recipient also possesses the qualities of leadership and responsibility. This year's scholarship recipient is Martin Decker. The Taft Mathematics and Science Scholarship Award is presented to a student with an aptitude for mathematics and science and who applies themselves to the diligent study of these subjects while in high school and college. This scholarship recipient this year is Benjamin Harrell. Next is a Charles F. Koch scholarship in honor of Katherine Hawes. This scholarship is given in honor of Katherine Hawes, a longtime math teacher at CCHS, to a graduating senior who is pursuing a degree in mathematics in a mathematics related field at a post secondary institution. This year's scholarship recipient is Leanne Hainis. My apologies, Leah. The next award is the uh, Mary Weber Eschelis Memorial Mathematics Scholarship, and that's going to be presented by Mr. Ray. All right, so the Mary Weber Eschelis Memorial Mathematics Scholarship is a scholarship in honor of Mary Weber, who graduated from Cornwall High School with the class of 1969. This scholarship is awarded to a senior who has taken upper level mathematics courses and who has excelled in them. This year's recipient goes to Benjamin Harrell. The next award I'm going to present is the Glenn McGinnis Memorial Scholarship, which is sponsored by the Cornwall Community Foundation. The Glenn McGinnis Memorial Scholarship um, is funded by donations generously made in the name of Coach Glenn McGinnis and his wife, Peggy. 
This scholarship is awarded to a CCHS student athlete in good academic standing who exemplifies pride in his or her community and Cornwall Central High School. This year's winner was selected from a number of amazing CCHS student athlete candidates and it is a very special night to present this scholarship being that today would be Ju uh, June 21st is Coach McGinnis's birthday. So this year on his birthday, we would like to congratulate this year's recipient of the Glenn McGinnis Memorial Scholarship to Michaela McCarthy. The next scholarship is the Highland Engine Memorial Scholarship. This is a scholarship that is awarded to a graduating senior who is a member, child of a member, or a relative of a member of the Highland Engine Company number one. This year's Highland Engine Memorial Scholarship goes to Grant Ross. And the final one for me, this is the Mediacom Entrepreneur of Tomorrow Award. This award is to honor an academically successful high school student who exemplifies the same entrepreneur, entrepreneurial spirit as Mediacom's founder, Rocco B. Comiso. It was founded in 1995 by Rocco B. Comiso, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, with the goal of reinvigorating cable systems in the nation's underserved smaller communities. Mediacom Communication Corporation is a preeminent telecommunications company in the Hudson Valley, and this year they have selected Neil Wilkinson as the, their recipient. Next, the Cornwall Historical Society William E. Fulton Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Mr. DeBold. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to keep going until Mr. Ravinsky comes up. He talks faster than I do, so I'll keep everybody up at the end here. So. so I have a few awards to present here tonight, the first one being the Cornwall Historical Society Award. The Will William E. Fulton Memorial Scholarship is presented by the Cornwall Historical Society to seniors with an interest in local history, specifically Cornwall, Cornwall on Hudson, or Mountainville. And the scholarship recipient is Caleb Sandler. The next award is the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan Cornwall Central High School Scholars Fund Award for Top Math. It is awarded to a student who challenges themselves with a rigorous mathematics class load and performs at the highest level of achievement. The degree of difficulty of student's class load is paramount and includes consideration of college level mathematics courses taken locally. The scholarship recipient is Victor Perez. Next award is the Community Foundation of Origin Sullivan Cornwall Central High School Scholars Fund Award for Top Scholar. It is awarded to a student who challenges themselves with a rigorous class load and performs at the highest level of achievement. This is not necessarily for the, for the student with the highest GPA. The difficulty is paramount of this student and includes consideration of college level courses taken locally as well as extracurricular activities. The scholarship recipient, Benjamin Harrell. Next award is the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan Cornwall Central High School Scholars Fund Award for Top Science. It is awarded to a student who challenges themselves with a rigorous science class load and performs at the highest level of achievement. The degree of difficulty of students' class load is paramount and includes consideration of college level science courses taken locally. The scholarship recipient is Ryan Chatfield.
The next award is awarded to two seniors for the Lou Bazone Scholarship Award. The Rotary Club of Greater Newburgh awards this scholarship to a graduating Cornwall High School senior demonstrating both academic accomplishment and service within their community. There are two awards, two award winners tonight, Brandon Hernandez and George Bailey. The next award is the Roy D. Parker Education Scholarship. Created by the trustees of the Parker Educational Trust, this fund provides scholarships to residents of Orange and Sullivan counties who plan to pursue higher education at either SUNY Orange, Toro College of Osteopathic Medicine, Middletown, New York, or Mount St. Mary College. And this winner is Marissa Pepe. The next award is the Winnie B. Swenson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating young woman who reflects on Mrs. Swenson's life and her focus on her career, her accomplishments, and her involvement in her community. And the scholarship winner for this award is Cassandra Ackerman. Next scholarship is the Storm King Fire Engine Number 2 Auxiliary BOCES Award for the Top Female Student. This award is awarded to a graduating female student based on the highest grades received in their CTEC program. The scholarship recipient is Olivia Taxter. And the last award I'll be presenting is the Storm King Fire Engine Number no. 2, the Thomas Ringelhand Scholarship Award for the top academic male CTEC student. Thomas was a member of the company who was killed in the line of duty at fire at the United States Military Academy at West Point. We hope this award helps you in your further studies in the field of work that you choose. And the scholarship recipient, Grant Ross. Presenting the Storm King Fire Engine number no. two Leo Fanning Award is Tony Ravinsky. The Storm King Engine number no. two Leo Fanning Award. Uh, Leo Fanning was a 50 year member of the engine company and was very active in the musical events which occurred in the village and town. Awarded to a senior who has participated in band or chorus in high school, this year's recipient is Ariana Nieves. Presenting the Sheik Skippel Cooper Journalism Award is Mr. Piazza. Thank you, Ben. The Chick Sippel Cooper Journalism Award is awarded to a graduating senior who plans a career in journalism or English and exemplifies the spirit of the community of community enthusiasm that was present in Chick's column in the Cornwall Local. This year's scholarship recipient is Dahlia Jones. The 
Next is the Sojourner Truth Awards. The Sojourner Truth Awards are granted by SUNY Orange to students who are being recognized and nominated by one of their teachers or administrators as outstanding in one of the following areas. Creative arts, English language arts, citizenship diversity, or foreign languages. This year's winners of the Sojourner Truth Award are Lucien Forte, <laughs> Tanaya Montgomery, <laughs> Alexander Reynoso, Diamond Spence. <laughs> and Joy Yusin. Next, we have the New York State Board of Regents Scholarship for Excellence. This scholarship of at least $500 is given to an, for outstanding academic accomplishment to deserving students. This award is redeemable for students who choose to attend a college or university in New York State. Tonight's award winners, Sophia Adele Castro, Ryan Chatfield, Angelina Hansen, Benjamin Harrell. Anika Fadness. <laughs> Caleb Sandler. <laughs> and Andy Wang. That concludes our ceremony for this evening. Congratulations to all our award winners. Thank you to our presenters and sponsors and to our student organization representatives on stage. There are light refreshments out in the lobby. Please enjoy. Have a great night. We'll see you on Friday. <laughs>